Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the rewind spring on your hedge trimmer, first make sure the engine has cooled. To prevent the engine from accidentally starting, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Turn the hedge trimmer over and use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws securing the blade and handle assembly. Separate the assembly from the engine housing. Use a spark plug wrench to help unthread the spark plug. Now confirm that the piston is in the down position. Insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Use a clutch removal tool to loosen the clutch by rotating it counterclockwise. Then unthread the clutch from the engine shaft. Pull off the washer. Use a T20 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws securing the recoil assembly. Pull off the assembly and set it on a sturdy surface. Untie the knot in the starter rope securing the handle and pull the handle off. Now hold the recoil starter pulley and slowly release the tension on the spring, if still intact. Next, use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screws and spring retaining tabs. Gently remove the recoil starter pulley and the coiled spring underneath. Be aware the spring can cause injury, so wear eye protection and use a towel to help contain the spring. Install the new rewind spring by first aligning the spring container in the recoil assembly. Reposition the starter pulley and rotate it until the end of the new spring catches onto the pulley tab. Realign the retaining tabs, making sure the side with the ridge is facing upward. Then replace the screws to secure. Keeping the rope in the notch, rotate the pulley clockwise three or four times to put tension on the spring. Feed the end of the rope through the hole in the housing. Slide the handle onto the rope and tie a knot to secure. Confirm that the rope moves freely and realign the recoil assembly on the engine. Replace all of the mounting screws.
Replace the washer. Thread the clutch clockwise onto the shaft and tighten. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug, but be careful not to over tighten. Carefully reposition the blade and handle assembly on the engine housing. And replace the mounting screws to secure. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your hedge trimmer should be ready for use.